well, there's some rare outfits going on today. <laughs> isn't this so? oh, what are those? These ski trousers have been with me since I was 10, yeah. 10 years old, and they still fit. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do now, there is a single lambing, so we're going to attempt to adopt a triplet onto it. Right, so here comes Soph with the triplet. We know this is one that is adopted on because we put all the ones we adopt on, a little green spot on them like that. So first things first, what we do before we wet adopt something is dunk it in water. So Soph, do you want to do the honours? So what we need now, we also have a tray, which I'll show you what we need in a second, and two pieces of string. So Soph, if you come here, all I need you to do is tie both sets of legs together. The reason we do this is so it doesn't get up and walk off because obviously a newborn lamb will not get up and walk off. So it's basically making it as much alike of what a newborn lamb will be. We cut these off fairly quickly as soon as the ewe takes the lamb. I'm sorry, I'll this one then. Right, so now we're going to lamb this ewe. So flip her over like normal, then pop the ewe in the tray, I mean the lamb in the tray. And what we're going to do, guys, you oh. need to hold on to it. <laughs> and then you hold that there. So what we're going to do is basically pull the lamb out over the top of this lamb. Massive. I know. Oh my God. So all the juices then go into there. Then you hold that away. We don't give this lamb straight to the you. What we do, get all these juices. There, and basically bath this lamb in her juices so it's a lovely lovely bit of cleanliness sis <laughs> just bath it like you would your newborn baby the main important thing is get over its head and bum because these are where they smell for scents so it basically wants to be as much like a newborn man man lamb as possible i know you don't like it lammy but you don't tell a new mummy so what we do then guys, we give this lamb to the mum. Here you go girl, good girl. So as you can see here, the ewe has taken to the lamb that isn't her, so we basically tricked her into having a lamb. So she's only going to have one and that's why we want her to have two because they have two teats and if they have one lamb on each teat we're making the most of each ewe. So then we don't have a triplet and a single, we have two twins. Taking to that, what we're going to do now is bring the original lamb back into scheme. So what we're going to do now... Oh girl, you having another lamb? <laughs> so you put your hand back in. She thinks she's having another one. Oh, it's a tough one girl, it's a tough one. Oh, there you go. Oh, good girl. You had two babies. Good girly. That is a monster. Look how big she is. He is. <laughs> so that is that wet adoption all done. And now what we're going to do is get Nell to lamb another you because she only really had a chance to lamb a couple yesterday because we were hectic. But it's been a bit quieter this morning, so it's a great opportunity to get some lambing done. So this is the you. She's already had her first one all by herself. In this circumstance, you probably would land that lamb on its own, but it's good experience to feel what it should be like when it comes out to you. So, so are you going to be camera woman again? We've got an absolute team of people here today. So out yesterday, all you guys made it a very easy day. If I was on my own, I think I'd have collapsed with a heart attack. So, there you go, Soph. Thank you. That's it. Well, that was a really good 10 minutes, guys. We've got a ewe here with two really nice lambs. We've got the adopted lamb on her, and the mum loves it, as you can see. It's tied up now again so that it can't get away and wiggle off. Hopefully, she starts licking her other lamb as soon as possible. It's absolutely huge. 
And we've got another you that's helping herself to some nice cocktail down there. Sheep are funny animals. So that is a wet adoption done and welcome back to day eight of the lambing vlogs. It is still fairly mental. We got all four of us as a team working again. So at the moment, everyone apart from myself because I'm talking is filling water up. We got Ellie, she is on the filling. We got Soph is on the transporting. We got Nell on fill bringing the empties over. So I hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, please tap that like button. If you want to see the rest of these couple of weeks of lambing, please subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoy. Cheers guys! So what are you two doing? We were checking his eyes because they were shut. So this one looks normal but this one doesn't look so happy to open. Let's just try and roll the eyelids out. And they seem to be staying. So do you know what it's called when um, that happens? I do. No. <laughs> and trophium. That's it. So with some newborn lambs, what you get is their eyes will be like rolled back on themselves and they rub their eyes. So what you have to do is pinch them and sometimes you'll have to give them a little injection to poof them out and make sure they're right. So that's what these two have found with this lamb and they're doing a cracking job of sorting it out. So I thought I'd best give you an update on where everything is and what everything is doing because yesterday we didn't do a full sum up. So all the mothering up pens are full in this shed so all 30 of them, 29 maybe, are full. So number one's moved, number one has started to milk. Uh, we don't need to top the lambs up so she's gone into the crash area and basically every other lamb is new apart from over here we have number 15 which we haven't spoke too much these have a little lambing and she is milking but not quite as much as i'd like so i'm keeping her in the pen and monitoring her she's got a little lamb that's stealing off her mom so that's probably a sign that she needs a bit of milk they've obviously been topped up so ellie and Nell have been topping these up and as we go around here we have had to put one of those ewes back in an adopter because she didn't like the lamb so we're going to give her a second go if it doesn't work we'll just call it quits and we'll have to put the um, we'll have to put the adopted lamb on another one so this is the one that's an adopter there's the one it's nice and full just as soon as we took the ewe out last time it didn't want us so we'll give one more go see if that works and down here these are pretty much all lambs that were born yesterday we've got a fair few triplets so triplets oh and here are where are these the quads where are the quads these are the quads guys so the quads were born yesterday too as i told you so here they are one two three four there they are they're all fairly tiny as you can see down here but they're really strong we gave them two lots of colostrum and they look really well we've had a couple of triplets just born so we are waiting down them. I think there's only six more of them to land. So freshly born set of triplets down here. L, where's your triplet? Oh, it's down there. One of the triplets has gone for a run. Mate, you're not mean to be down there, are you? You've run away from your mummy. Come on. Come on. You're in jail. There we go. You go back to your mum. So need to get them penned up and then we have another triplet here that was born earlier too top shed we have got as you saw earlier seven or eight pens all penned up now so we need to get some more ewes and lambs cleared and into the crash area we keep making the crash area bigger so i didn't show you these guys too well because it's pitch black here is the crash area now if you can hear me oh i'm on the wobbly gate in here we basically have number one to number 23 apart from 15. So they're all looking well. There you go. All right, mate. I think I'm scaring them all with pink trousers. <laughs> what are you doing there, Sue? <laughs> Spraying. It's, what is that, the cord? <laughs> Oh, spraying its navel. <laughs> Hi guys, so Will's left us, so we thought we'd pick up the camera and tell you what we've been doing. So down here we just had these triplets. Um <laughs> just there. 
So I think she pushed out the last one completely on her own, but Nell and Ellie had to help her with the second. And then Nell and Ellie are over here, and we are carrying on tagging and tailing all the Lambos to then move them all into the crash. <laughs> Granddad, which is in another country. <laughs> so we're going to leave her to have the other two and we're going to go back to our tagging and tailing. So we've just come back to check this one of these triplets because she hasn't pushed out anymore after the first one. So Ellie and Nell are going to take a look in there and see what's going on. So it's been quite a while since she's had the two now, so they're having a feel. But they don't think they can actually feel anything, so potentially maybe it might just be scanned wrong. Maybe it's just got two. Who knows? Boss is back. Not your present. <laughs> I knew you didn't forget. Bad one. Bad one. Bless you, little one. It's all right. It's all right. So I am back now, and by the looks of it, they've been absolutely smashing all the spraying, tagging, and all that jazz. The takeover from the girls team seems to be better than what I can do, so have you enjoyed doing that? Girl power! <laughs> You're funny you are. <laughs> I don't even know if they could see it. But um, plan is now, we're going to get all these moved, aren't we? Yeah. And then we get them all lined, that's why I've been away, I've been to go and get some hydrated lime because we ran out. And that's what we can do now, and then get them all re-bedded and refilled up as we've got plenty to fill these up right now. Apologies because of the racket, because it's feed time, but we're in triplets galore right at the moment. So we have one triplet lambing down there. We've just moved three lots of triplets. We've got another triplet down here lambing, and these lamb this morning, so we've had six triplets. So guys, and all the mothering pens have been filled down this long side after they've all been cleared out and put into this big pen over here. So that is the daily big move around all done. We smashed it, didn't we, Soph? Oh, yeah. We got all the help from everyone. So Soph, Nell, Ellie, everyone dug in, and we did really well. I left the girls to do their own thing, as you probably saw before this, and they absolutely smashed it too. They all did a little bit of effort, so it's really good to see everyone pulling together, isn't it, Soph? Yeah. You enjoyed today? Yeah, yeah. It's been another long one, but it's been a really good one, guys. Really appreciate you all for watching. We'll just have a quick look at how everything looks now. Basically everything in the first row is freshly bedded, apart from the very first one, which is 24, because she has two little lambs, so we're getting another day. Number row two, practically the same, apart from a couple. 15s are still in here, like we said before. And then row three are all the older ones that'll get moved in the morning. We've still got that you in the adopt with the one adopted, so there we go. Now, basically, we only have four triplets left to lamb, so she saw loads went and lambed at the same time. So we've got plenty of them ready to adopt on singles. There's 24 singles left, so fingers crossed, we are gonna get everyone wet adopted across, which would work really well. And that is just done, guys. We've got 35 in the crash area too, so have a quick run. This is the crash area, it's a bit dark. Can you see? 
they're all settling down and that is us all finished massive thank you for watching today guys i really hope you enjoyed it what do you do Soph, if you want to see more videos like this please like the video and subscribe to the channel that's it guys and i'll see you tomorrow bright and early cheers again bye